Hey everyone, Nathaniel Rumpel Jantz here. Um, a little different today. Obviously, I am in my kind of kitchen dining area, uh, recording from the laptop uh, with my kind of my portable setup here. Uh, so sorry if the video quality is not as good, the audio quality is not as good. Uh, I have some things though that I want to talk about, and that is in particular to the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X in terms of the pricing. So uh, first off, let's get into the pricing on the PlayStation 5. Uh, so there was a Amazon France uh, rumor about uh, the PlayStation 5 that has come out uh, that kind of debunks the original uh, Play Asia listing. There was a 699 Play Asia listing uh, that is clearly not legit and not real. Uh, but what does seem to be legit is an Amazon France listing that has the 4K Blu-ray version at $499, uh, in, or I guess 499 euros, about 556 USD or whatever. Uh, and then obviously the all digital version is 100 euros less at 399 euros. Now we assume that this will probably translate to like 499 USD, 399 USD, because that's kind of how uh, the euro transition from their pricing to our pricing ends up working for game systems. They don't do like a one-to-one uh, thing where it's, you know, oh, it's it actually equals up to 556 USD, so it's going to be $556. Uh, but that appears to be what the PlayStation 5 pricing is likely going to be. And that's fine, actually. Um, to me, that doesn't even sound that bad. That sounds reasonable based on what we've seen of the system, based on what we've seen of the games, based on what we know about the SSD and all of the various tech in it. That's still a really good price, and you're not going to be able to build a uh, comparable gaming PC that can perform as well as the PlayStation 5 at that level. And this is in addition to uh, the fact that games will be fully customized for the this hardware, uh, which is something you don't get on PCs, since games on PCs have to consider a wide range of hardware from $200 budget laptops all the way up to $3,000 plus dollar super rigs. So... That is um, really, really great, and I think an excellent price point for the PlayStation 5. But there's one problem with that, and that's a report uh, coming from WCCF Tech um, and actually coming from the Beyond 3D forums from the guy named Eastman, who has proven in the past to have inside information from Microsoft. And this is where the competition between the Xbox Series X uh, and you know PlayStation 5 are going to be extremely fierce and Microsoft is going to do something uh, very daring this time around. So speaking on the Beyond 3D forums, Eastman, who has proven in the past to have access to Microsoft Insider information, again, this all comes from WCCF Tech, uh, revealed that the Xbox Series S, the system they haven't talked about yet, um, will be half the price of the Series X, and it will come in a small form factor that will be an all-digital console. The Insider doesn't know the final pricing of the Xbox Series S, and thus the pricing of the Series X. But he has heard that Microsoft is prepared to drop a $400, so a $399 Xbox Series X. Now, we know we're going to be hearing about the Xbox Series X and the big Xbox blowout next year, but um, from what he has heard from all of his sources, July isn't just about Sony. July is about the industry and what they want it to be in terms of a night of mic drops. They're going to come hard with the strategy they have been building up for years, including buying out a whole bunch of game studios. And they want Google, Amazon, Apple, Sony, and even Nintendo to be shooken up. So expect a series of mic drop moments, followed by the price being the key in all this. So kind of dropping that price at the end of everything. Uh, that's why I think Lockhart is a key device in their strategy. It's a low-cost gateway that they can control to make sure the hardware can handle the new compression techniques they will employ you with xCloud, which is, again, their digital uh, game service. Um, the plan for Lockhart is to get into um, a price category where they were never able to hit before, and I believe based on listening between the lines, and they expect Lockhart at some point to make it into a Fire TV size. Also, the size of the first Lockhart is going to surprise everyone. Probably like a Mac Mini. If you guys have ever seen a Mac Mini, I'm thinking something like that. Um, to me... This is incredibly um, interesting to me that we're even talking about uh, these kind of price points because Microsoft has the ability to drop a um, low um, a low cost system, as it were. They have the ability to do that, and I'm I'm pretty thrilled that Microsoft's even considering such a thing because. Um, they are the company that doesn't need the income. They don't need their systems to be profitable. So that being said. Um, I really uh, want to know what your guys' thoughts are on all of this. This is kind of an interesting perspective for me because I think PlayStation 5 is a great value at 499 
But it's hard to argue when Xbox Series X is dropping at, at $399. And every Xbox Series X has a 4K Blu-ray player. Only if you buy the budget system uh, do you get an all-digital thing, and that's not even the same system as an Xbox Series X. So um, this is crazy to me, and obviously the big thing is the games. PlayStation has always knocked it out of the park with game after game after game after game after game. What's going to happen this time around, I don't know. Uh, but I'm very curious to see because Microsoft bought a bunch of studios and we have yet to see what most of those studios are working on. Anyways, I am Nathan Ruffle Jams from Nintendo Prime. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this pricing strategy down in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.